Chaos Creations presents a mini game contest entry. Oh, so that's the story behind these games I'm about to play. I was wondering about that. I wonder if they won. For countless years, battles have been fought between the Taralia territories and the Aeonix Kingdom. Now a traitor is among the Taralia nobles. One man, one sword, capable of changing the outcome of an entire war. It has been three months since Taralia has learned of the mole, yet his identity is still unknown. Out of fear, the king has sent his young daughter Tyra away with his personal battle mage Galron and the general of his armies, Alriac. Accompanying them is Alriac's apprentice, Xander. Together, they travel to Mondara Temple, high in the mountains, the one safe place for a princess. But first, they must go through the Cemetery of the Fallen. Wildland is asking if we're going to go into the editor this time. Well, I suppose if I can think of something worth going into the editor for. Maybe. Anyway, Xander. Whoa! Look at this place. There's Alriac. Xander, come on. And that's Tara. Huh? Why'd you stop, Galron? Yeah, what gives? So this is Galron. We're here. The Cemetery of the Fallen. Those coffins. They're new. What's going on, Galron? I'm sorry, Princess, but like countless others, this will be your final resting place. So you're the mole. Don't even think about it, Galron. I'm surprised the great Alriac didn't catch on sooner. Why? I trusted you. My father trusted you. Some things are complicated. Then why don't I uncomplicate them for you? Straight to the point. Fine. Let's get down to business then. Huh. Stand back, Lady Tara. Xander, make sure she is safe. But I want to fight! Do as I tell you. Galran, you know you can't hope to beat me. Normally, I would agree with you. Not this time, however. My necromancy is increased tenfold here. Necromancy? Huh. <laughs> Please, are you done? The martyrs have been set. I summon thy to do my biting. Oh, that opened up. Oh, hello, zombie statue things. Here, let's move the camera. See if we can get a good look at this. Unfortunately, this is RPG Maker 3, so the camera wants to automatically snap back the moment I let go of the camera stick. Actually, what does the rest of this area look like? Anything of interest? Kind of dark, can't really see much. Anyway, let's see you try to mesh the power of a Grand Wizard. You'll be but a stain on my blade. That would be an interesting experience. We're getting a battle? I was not expecting a battle in a... Never mind, we just had sound effects. You are weak, Galrun. You're next. With you gone, Taralia will go back to normal. Oh, how mistaken you are. What do you mean? Ugh. I am no the real mole, my lady. Then who? 
I know nothing other than the fact that I am a pawn used by Lord Tarath. My brother! How dare you! Ugh. What happened here is but a small piece of the puzzle. The big picture is what you must uncover, my lady. I am sorry. Ugh. I do not know what the truth is, but I will protect you with my life, Lady Tara. Talaria is not safe. Do you think the temple will be? Tara, it is your call. I will follow you anywhere. There is a town not far from here. We will go there and think on it. Yeah. Well, that's an interesting structure there. Let's get a good look at that. No, I can't say anybody's pieced together a structure like this in RPG Maker 3 before. So we got the mascot up there. Come one, come all! The grand opening is now. For the first time anywhere, play against your friends in these state-of-the-art games. The Pavilion Arcade is open for business. So, the contest this was made for? RPG Maker Pavilion. Alas, the site is gone now. It's mostly there on Wayback Machine, but the um, not entirely whole. Come in and let the stresses of the day wash away. What do you think? Should we check it out? Did you forget what has happened to us? We have important stuff to do. Yeah, but he said the stress would wash away. Wash, my, wash away my stress, huh? Come on, it will be fun. No. Why not, Ariak? Just for a little bit couldn't hurt. I get it. You're just scared I'll finally be able to beat you at something. <sighs> Fine. Play your video games. Once you're done, we must confront the issues at hand. Yes! I knew you'd come around. Let's go in. Well, I was kind of figuring that I would have full control while I was out there. Otherwise, I would have pulled the camera all the way around us. They are wholly intent on not letting us leave this place, by the way. Call it a hunch. Alright, well, after that long cutscene, I'm definitely gonna save. That was... Quite an extensive cutscene for what is gonna be just a pair of minigames. I wonder if they're gonna be related. So there's apparently already a save here. I'm assuming that this was the save left behind by the game's creator, because the saves are part of the game file. Okay, what have we got here? Minigame 2, Animal Dash. Well, what's Minigame 1? Temple of Despair. What do I even call this? Pavilion Arcade, perhaps? I don't know. All I know it by is the two titles presented here. Anything of interest in the back there? Uh, just a table stuff. Well, let's go through these in order. Start with the Temple of... Oh, wait, no. Let's first see who we're having here. And we got Xander. No stats or anything, it seems. Alright, well, in that case... Wario Line is asking why RPG Maker 3 game creators don't remove the save files before submitting their games. I don't think that's an option. I... No? 
I, I don't think I've ever seen a delete file option. Enter the Temple of Despair room? Sure. That looks foreboding. Then again, it is called the Temple of Despair. What's this? Let that it. Read the description? Yes. You play as an unknown raider trying to uncover the secret entrance to the Temple of Despair. Yeah, that's basically all I know about this game. I have no idea how it's supposed to be played or anything. Hmm. I wonder why the other entrances are blocked off. Temple of Despair. Is this going to be a better description here? You play as an unknown raider trying to uncover the secret entrance of the Temple of Despair. No, it's the exact same one. Well, that's redundant. Royal Lane is asking if the game has a title on the pavilion page. Um, just Temple of Despair slash Animal Dash. Game begin. Okay, I'm sure the game is visible enough in the stream-ish. Visible-ish enough-ish. But I'm gonna take a moment here to increase the brightness on my end, cause... That's kinda dark. There we go. So how exactly does this work? Oh, we're playing as a different character here. Who are you? You're a raider. Any information? Nope. That's certainly a uh, foreboding sky, by the way. Okay, we got a fountain here. Is the fountain of significance, or is it just scenery? I'm gonna say it's just scenery. So by the way, as a reminder, it's been a bit since I've done an RPG Maker 3, but we got tank controls. You get used to them. Okay, how do I get into this place? That's what the real despair is. Basically kind of rubbing against things. Oh, there seems to be a path over there. Possibly also this way? Okay. Definitely leading somewhere. Or so it seems. Interesting. Okay, I like... Hold on. Let, let me check something here. If I walk through here... Okay. I gotta get some props here. Although it's a little hard to tell with how dark it is, it seems that this map is a near exact copy of where I came from. I can't remember for sure, but I don't remember RPG Maker 3 having a copy paste option for field maps such as this. Is 
this a thing? Oh, it is. Is rotate the statue clockwise? Oh, well, before I do that, is there some sort of hint somewhere? I wish I could run a little bit faster here. Oh, there's another statue right here. Oh, there's a thing over there. Let's go check that out. What is this? Well, I can't interact with it. Alright, let's start with this statue over here. Let's rotate the statue counterclockwise. Five times. And the statue can't be physically changed position. So it just has to fade out and reposition it. So that did exactly what I thought it would. The problem is I don't know what that accomplishes. So now I seem to have both statues looking over at whatever is down in the middle there. Oh wait, no, I was wrong. This statue is facing away from the middle. Well, let's fix that. Let's rotate it clockwise two times. And that worked! Yay! I did a thing! And that created a beam of light to show that something's up over here. So in case it wasn't clear, I was basically rotating the statue 90 degrees. So I figure, well, 90 and 90 would be 180, which means turning it the opposite way, therefore two times. What have we got here? This is interesting. Spin the crank handle? Well, now what? Okay, now I think we are on a different map. Yeah, this is a different map. It looks the same, but once again, different. What's this? Take the orb? Yes. Obtained an orb. Okay, my next question is, where do I go to save while I'm still in this challenge? Can I interact with this again out of curiosity? Probably not. Nope. So now we just wander back. Wonder what having the orb will accomplish. I suppose first I'm gonna wanna make my way down the other direction that I noticed. Oh, of course. Wild Land is reminding me that since this is a sit this is a field map, I can save anywhere here. I can't believe me of all people forgot that. Cause I am constantly pointing out whenever I play these games, hey, why do you have a save point in the entrance to town? You can save on the world map right outside. I'm, not, I'm just going to say it's because this is a very different game. I'm not thinking of this like a world map. Yeah, that, that's the ticket. I guess the orb will play some sort of role to get into the temple.
And I can tell where another map separation is going to be. Ooh. It, it's got foggy. Oh, you can even see the uh, building from over here. As foggy as it is, I wonder if that area is accurately depicted. Or if the game creator was lazy since it's foggy, didn't have to put that much effort into it so you can't see all the way over there. The game creator, by the way, is somebody named Lawson. L-A-U-S-N. I remember Lawson. Okay, is this something I can climb up? It is. Am I supposed to be able to climb up here? I have my doubts. But since it was so easy, I kind of want to keep going. And this almost feels like something is being led to. Maybe? You know what? Maybe I'm not supposed to be up here. And I guess the cliff just wasn't made steep enough to prevent me from climbing it. Well, there's a tree down here of some sort, so let's go ahead and take a look at the tree real quick. Along with some tall grass. I wonder if there's something out here that will kill me. And the tree cannot seem to be interacted with. What's beyond the tree? Examine? Yes. It looks like it could collapse at any second. It's like there's an entrance here. I'm not allowed to go in, though. Hold on a sec. There's tombstone. Oh! What's this? Examine? Yes. It won't budge. I feel like I'm gonna wanna try to open it. Will that involve these tombstones? I can't interact with them. Maybe not. How about this tree? Nope. Oh. Well, there's certainly a path up here. Okay, this looks super important. And there's also a gate back there. We're going to find out what is up with this after our first episode break. Be right back. <laughs> 